Hello. Thank you for joining me. We've been reading from A Course in Miracles, the student workbook, and we're on lesson 91, which is a, a brand new lesson since we've been doing review for the last few lessons. Miracles are seen in light. Miracles are seen in light. It is important to remember that miracles and vision necessarily go together. This needs repeating and repeating frequently. It is a central idea to your new thought system and the perception that it produces. The miracle is always there. Its presence is not caused by your vision. Its absence is, the result, is not the result of your failure to see. It is only your awareness of miracles that is affected. You will see them in the light. You will not see them in the dark. To you then, light is crucial. While you remain in darkness, the miracle remains unseen. Thus you are convinced it is not there. This follows from the premise from which the darkness comes. Denial of light leads to failure to perceive it. Failure to perceive light is to perceive darkness. The light is useless to you then, even though it is there. You cannot use it because its presence is unknown to you. And the seeming reality of the darkness makes the idea of light meaningless. To be told that what you do not see is there sounds like insanity. It is very difficult to become convinced that it is insanity not to see what is there and to see what is not there instead. You do not doubt that the body's eyes can see. You do not doubt the images they show you are reality. Your faith lies in the darkness, not the light. How can this be reversed? For you, it is impossible, but you are not alone in this. Your efforts, however little they may be, have strong support. Did you but realize how great this strength your doubts would vanish? Let me read that again. Did you but realize how great this strength your doubts would vanish? Today, we will devote ourselves to the attempt to let you feel this strength. When you have felt the strength in you, which makes all miracles within your easy reach, you will have no doubt. The miracles your sense of weakness hides will leap into awareness as you feel the strength in you. Three times a day, set aside about 10 minutes for a quiet time in which you try to leave your weakness behind. This is accomplished very simply as you instruct yourself that you are not a body. Faith goes to what you want and you instruct your mind accordingly. Your will remains your teacher and your will has all the strength to do what it desires. You can escape the body if you choose. You can experience the strength in you. Begin the longer practice periods with this statement of true cause and effect relationships. Miracles are seen in the light. The body's eyes do not perceive the light. But I am not a body. What am I? The question with which this statement ends is needed for our exercises today. What you think you are is a belief to be undone. But what you really are must be revealed to you. The belief you are a body calls for correction, being a mistake. The truth of what you are calls on the strength in you to bring your awareness what the mistake conceals. If you are not a body, what are you? You need to be aware of what the Holy Spirit uses to replace the image of a body in your mind. 
You need to feel something to put your faith in as you lift it from the body. You need a real, um, you need a real experience of something else, something more solid and more sure, more worthy of your faith and really there. If you are not a body, what are you? Ask this in honesty and then devote several minutes to allowing your mistaken thoughts about your attributes to be corrected and their opposites to take their place. For example, say, I am not weak but strong. I am not helpless but all powerful. I am not limited but unlimited. I am not doubtful but certain. I am not an illusion but a reality. I cannot see in darkness but in light. In the second phase of the exercise period, try to experience these truths about yourself. Concentrate particularly on the exercise of strength. Remember that all sense of weakness is associated with the belief that you are a body a belief that is mistaken and deserves no faith. Try to move, move your faith from it, if only for a moment. You will be accustomed to keeping faith with the more worthy in you as, you go, as we go along. Relax for the rest of the practice period, confident in your efforts, however meager, Confident that your efforts, however meager, are fully supported by the strength of God and all his thoughts. It is from them that your strength will come. It is through their strong support that you will feel the strength in you. They are united with you in this practice period and in which you spare a purpose like their own. Theirs is the light in which you will see miracles because their strength is yours. Their strength becomes your eyes that you may see. Five or six times an hour at reasonably regular intervals, remind yourself that mir miracles are seen in light. Also be sure to meet temptation with today's idea. This form would be helpful for this purpose. Miracles are seen in light. Let me not close my eyes because of this. A great uh, lesson for today. Miracles are seen in light. I hope you have a good day working with this lesson. If you would like additional support, I can uh, be reached at 907-351-3003. And it's...